Hello everyone, welcome you back in my geography class. Today we are going to discuss about the effects of earthquake and how to measure the earthquake. That means which are the scales that are used to measure the earthquake from the chapter interior of the earth of class 11. In the earlier videos, we have already discussed about the earthquake, like what is earthquake, what are the causes of earthquake, about the body waves, about the surface waves, about the shadow zone and also the types of earthquake. Now, what is earthquake? Suddenly you are standing and suddenly there is a shake in the ground and as it shakes, it gives a shock, right? So that is referred as the earthquake, a sudden shaking in the earth's crust. Now, the effect of earthquake is quite dangerous, is horrifying, is terrible. It leads to death of many people. Many people die due to the collapse of building, collapse of hospitals, collapse of schools. So if you will see that why people are dying due to earthquake, it is due to the collapse of buildings. We will notice that due to some malpractices in construction activities, the buildings are not earthquake resistant. And that, why, that is why they cannot hold the intensity of earthquake and they collapse. And it takes life of many people. People are also getting injured. Not only the people are injured or not only the buildings are collapsing, but it is also destroying the mental peace, the emotional health of a person. It is destroying the livelihoods. It is destroying property. It is killing people. So you can well understand that earthquake is quite disastrous. Now let us see that which are the effects that are disastrous for the landforms and which are the effects that are creating ruckus on the life and on the property. Now, let us know the effects that destroy the landforms or that has direct effect on landforms. Effects of earthquake. Number one, leads to ground shaking with ground shaking it will lead to displacement of ground settlement number three there can be land and mudslide which is very dangerous number four Soil liquefaction. Number five, ground lurching. Number six, avalanches. Landslide, mudslide, avalanches, ground lurching, soil liquefaction, displacement of ground settlement, ground shaking, all these are interrelated and they are disastrous. They have direct impact on the landforms. So this six effects of earthquake has direct impact on the landforms. So what is ground shaking? Shaking of ground. As, the, as there is a ground shaking, as we know that earthquake is referred as shaking of ground. It leads to displacement of ground settlement. And as there is a displacement of ground settlement, we can also see that with the shaking of ground, landslide and mudslide is a common phenomenon, is a common effect of earthquake, mainly in the mountainous regions. It leads to soil liquefaction, ground lurching. That means breaking of the streets, or you can say that displacement of the ground. Avalanches, which is another a major impact that occurs there in the mountainous regions. So this six effects are the effects that has a direct impact on the landforms. Now let us know about the other effects that has a direct impact on the life and property of the people. Seven, it leads to ground displacement. It will lead to flood due to dam and levees failure. It will lead to fire, which is again a very disastrous impact. It will lead to structural collapse, which takes life of huge number of people. 
falling objects as the ground is shaking what will happen the objects will start falling so falling objects which is again very much dangerous for the human beings it will lead to tsunami now this are the effects of earthquake which has a huge impact on life and property ground displacement flood which will lead to flood now flood when flood will happen when the dams and levees will fail and the water will move downstream to the settlement and again it will again it will become a more disastrous effect the earthquake and flood together then we have fire it may lead to fire there can be structural collapse as we know that many number of people are dying due to collapse of the structures falling objects tsunami now tsunami mostly occurs if the tremors occur under oceanic water and if its magnitude is high then only it will lead to a tsunami which is again a very very disastrous effect of earthquake so these are the effects of earthquake that has a direct impact on life and property of the people so we can understand that how disastrous how terrifying the earthquake can be so it is very important to understand how do we measure the earthquake what are the scales that we utilize to measure the earthquake and what should be our disaster management plan to control earthquake to prepare a plan so that before the earthquake happen we can take some preventive measures so let us know about how do we measure the earthquake and then we will know about the preventive measures that we so we are supposed to take to control earthquake already we have discussed that the earthquake waves are recorded where in the seismograph now how the earthquake waves are recorded these are the normal waves this is the p waves which is steep which is the first wave to reach the surface of the earth then we have the s waves and then the surface waves are recorded so in this way in the seismograph the waves are recorded so the earthquake waves that are recorded in the seismograph are used to identify the magnitude of earthquake and we get to know about the intensity of earthquake now to understand the magnitude and intensity we use two different scale number 1 is the richter scale richter scale is used to measure the energy released from the interior of the earth that is to know about the magnitude of the earthquake waves the magnitude of the energy that is released from the interior of the earth The Richter scale was invented by Charles Richter who was a seismologist. Now how do we measure the magnitude of earthquake in a Richter scale? We measure the magnitude of earthquake in the Richter scale with a scale ranging from 0 to 10 the richter scale is also known as the logarithmic scale which means that an earthquake with magnitude of 6 is 
टेन टाइम्स मोर पावरफुल दैन मैग्नीट्यूड फाइव दैट मीन्स एन अर्थ क्वेक विथ मैग्नीट्यूड फाइव एंड हंड्रेड टाइम्स more powerful than magnitude 4 that means an earthquake of magnitude 4 on richter scale so richter scale measures the energy release from the interior of the earth we can also call it as the magnitude scale here the richter scale was discovered by charles richter who was a seismologist and here we measure the magnitude of earthquake with a scale ranging from 0 to 10 when the magnitude is more than 5 that means now it is becoming disastrous the walls will break there will the objects will fall down as the magnitude increases above 6 it leads to collapse of buildings and more the magnitude increases more will be disastrous the effect of earthquake now let us know about the next scale by which we measure intensity the next scale that we use to measure the intensity of the earthquake is markley scale this measures the intensity of earthquake so we call it as the intensity scale that means how strong are the earthquake waves it helps to describe and compare the amount of damage done on a scale of 1 to 12 markley scale was discovered by gusipi markley in the year 1902 so markley scale means the scale which is used to measure the intensity of earthquake we also call it as intensity scale it states that how strong are the earthquake waves it describe and compare the amount of damage that is done on a scale of 1 to 12 and it was discovered by gusipi markley in 1902 the intensity of the earthquake depends on certain factors let us know which are the factors on which the intensity of earthquake depends on intensity of earthquake firstly depends on the magnitude of earthquake more will be the magnitude of the earthquake more will be the intensity of earthquake it depends on distance from epicenter that here is the epicenter more will be the distance less will be the intensity of earthquake so with increase in distance from the epicenter the intensity of the earthquake will go on reducing and number 3 the types of rocks and materials available that means if the rocks will be stronger then more will be the intensity if the rocks are weaker then the intensity of earthquake will be low we cannot stop the earthquake to occur what we can do we can take some preventive methods some preventive checks by which we can reduce the effect of earthquake so now let us see that which are the preventive checks that we can do by which we can reduce the effect of earthquake how to minimize the effect of earthquake first what should we do there should be 
early earthquake, seismic stations by which we can get an information that earthquake is supposed to come. We should have rained expertise. It is important to construct earthquake resistant buildings because most of the people die due to collapse of buildings. To observe the abnormal changes in the animal behavior, you will see the dogs start barking and by this you can understand that maybe a disaster is supposed to come. Abnormal change in the behavior of the animals what else we can do the area where earthquake may have occurred we need to rescue we need to provide them relief and we need to rehabilitate them so rehabilitation We need to provide proper education on disaster management. Drills should be practiced. Key role played by the government. Government plays a very important role in giving first-hand knowledge to the society. So the local disaster management team should be ready, should be well prepared and they should inform the citizen, they should inform the local community about the effects of earthquake and what they should do when an earthquake may strike off. So these are the ways by which we can minimize the effect of earthquake. In today's video, we have discussed about the effects of earthquake. We have discussed about the scale which is used to measure the magnitude and intensity of earthquake and what should we do to minimize the effect of earthquake. I hope all of you understood it well. Don't forget to go through the PDF that is already provided in the description box. If you have any problem or any suggestion, you can comment in the comment box box given below if you feel this video is worth watching if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed it yet and if you want to watch more videos on different topics and don't forget to hit the bell icon for getting the further notifications on my upcoming videos till then stay safe and stay at your home take care thank you mm -hmm.